Well, Sean, what are we now? Just three days away from the big kickoff. How would you analyse how pre-season's gone? I think usually pre-season go- goes pretty well. I mean, it's it's a it's a less pressurised time of the season be- because you know the games the games are there. There's not there's not that much pressure on the games, and everybody relaxes a little bit. Um, the problem is you don't know where you are, you know, because you don't play anybody in your division. So you know everybody thinks, yeah, you know optimistic and uh, looking forward to it uh, and until you start playing the games then the rea- reality kicks in so it's it's one of those you know once you get over the first two or three weeks I mean, really you want the season to start so I think everybody's quite <coughs> quite pleased that Saturday we begin the, the campaign. In terms of the squad currently at your disposal I mean how close is it to, to what you'd like in an ideal world? I don't think you ever get an ideal squad. It's always, like I say, football's always in a state of uh, in a state of change, you know. So you might lose people. You know, we've lost you know, two players in a week that you know that we didn't foresee doing. So you know, the, the, the squad is it is what you know. I've got players that if you told me at the start of the season um, would be would be in contention for a first team spot, I'd say no. And at the end of the pre-season, I would say there's two or three players that have actually bridged that gap. So from that sense, we've made, we've made improvements. Um, so we want that to continue. I think we've got to, we've got to continue trying to improve the team and, and improve the way they play together. I think that's the biggest thing, you know, changing players and changing managers doesn't work. So you know, we've got to make sure the squad as a whole functions better than it has in the last two or three seasons. No, uh, Marlon Pack and Marlon Harewood are both still in and around the squad. Could they be added before the weekend? Yeah, I mean transfers take. I mean Mar- Marlon Harewood probably is an easier one to do rather than Marlon Pack because we've got Cheltenham to deal with. But um, b- both are okay. Both are still training. Both are they're still in our plans, and we've just got to um, you know try and work out you know what's best for the for the club and the squad as a whole. You know, but, but you're asking me ideally I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd like to add them both to the squad um, and also probably another striker so you know we've got to look at it we've got to look at what we can and cannot do um, uh, and look at the bigger picture uh, and that, that's ongoing as we speak in terms of the season as a whole I mean what do you hope to get out of it I, I hope to get a team that plays well together I mean, that's what I want. And, uh, you know, for, for whatever reason, we've got some talented individuals that haven't performed, and uh, I, I don't think that's down to one thing. I think that's down to numerous things. And uh, you know, slowly but surely, we're trying, trying to put some foundations in place that can that can stand us well. You know, give us a good platform to go forward. And if we can do that, then we've made progress. And uh, like I say, we'll, we'll take what comes then. Are you pretty pleased with the way your players have adapted to what is looking like a potentially new style for this season? Well, I think football's football. You're going to get judged on, on, on whether you win, lose, or draw. So, um, whatever happens, or however you play, then if you walk off the pitch under three points, then the vast majority of supporters are quite happy. Um, but we've got to look at the way the team functions, and, and like I said, you know if. So every every individual can be part of something that they, you know, that they feel they can uh, play well with. So that's whether that that's not a new style. That's just common sense. Um, so far, everybody's, you know, that's 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 been the aim since the start of pre-season to get everybody buying into something that they all feel they can do well. And uh, that that's, you know, I, th- I think that's. That's got better as, this, as pre-seasons has, has gone on, which, which hopefully you know, that's what you're, that's what you're looking for. You're looking to improve and make, make sure that we continue that improvement. You know the championship well. You know League One well. What's what's the main differences there? What should the players? What do the players need to know about it? Well, the the, the, the championship is a, is, a, is a definite more intense league than League One, um, but all. All divisions in the English, you know, in English football, are, are difficult because all teams are organised. All teams have one or two players that could play in a high division, or on their day can be match winners. And uh, you know, you, you have that English, never say die attitude, which foreign countries would die for. And um, you know, 
and we're going to be one of the teams, I suppose, that the bookies will make favourites, if that means anything. Um, so we have to that contend with as well, which, which will be a little bit different, you know, to, to be a, maybe a small fish in a big pool and championship to a to a sort of a, a bigger reputation, I suppose, more than anything um, in League One. So. But, 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 but you know, once the whistle blows, the, you know, we'll get judged by the same things, you know, whether we can score goals and whether we can stop conceding them. So it's, you know, the fundamentals, the principles will be exactly the same. Starting off with Bradford, uh, what sort of challenges do they do they pose as a newly promoted side? Just momentum, I think. That's the. We've all been in teams or situations where you've got promoted, and you, you carry that momentum through. And, Invariably, you know, promoted teams have a good season. So, you know, they're, they're obviously cup run has been has been their springboard to their their league success. Um, and I'm sure that you know they'll have a tried and trusted method of playing. I think he's added one or two players to to, to bolster his squad. Um, so I think they'll, you know, they'll they'll be a threat this season for uh, for a lot of teams in the league. Yeah. Are your players preparing for a much more physical challenge. I mean, you not just going from friendlies to competitive but they're also a big strong side I don't think you get much more physical than championship I think, I think that's probably the most physical league there is um, probably in Europe this is intense week in and week out so um, I don't I think the physicality will uh, will be a problem um, it's just that we've got to change a, you know we've got to try and turn a team that's been used to losing really to a team that's wants to win every week and, and gets that belief and confidence and hopefully that's, that will happen and uh, we can go to strength to strength. Is that your biggest challenge, changing the mentality? No, ch ch changing the dynamic, that's my biggest challenge. No, not, not just the dynamic of the, of the team, I think the dynamic of the football club, I think that's, that's been the, and still is, the biggest challenge.